Good afternoon, this is Melissa with the StockSwish.com and welcome. Welcome to a play a gap, a bullish gap today that I called, but I didn't trade because I just choose to only do shorts. Um, but I, I do occasionally call bullish gaps in the room if I see them and decide to call them. Um, and I did today in this. The interesting thing is it was a great call and I didn't do it. So I really am very disciplined with what I do. Uh, you know, not only in the fact that I only do gaps, but really only in one direction. I certainly could do bullish gaps. I see the calls just as much as I do um, in my short side. I just prefer shorts and I'm very disciplined. Not only do I only do one strategy, I only do it in one direction. However, there's people that have done my class that do my strategy in both directions. And when I make a call like I did this morning in this, um, it's almost something that, you know, I look back and I say, why did I do this? <laughs> Um, <laughs> but here's what I did or what I called. So I called Facebook as a buy this morning. As soon as it hit on this number, as soon as it hit in 38.25, I said buy, put the stop under 38.20. The bar was moving and then the time it was moving here, wherever you would have hit it on my call, you know, you would have gotten a five cent, 10 cent stop wherever you would have gotten it. And it ran right up here and hit on into the um, first target um, on, on my call, and it did it in in the first into the first reversal time. Well, 9:35 went past 9:35 up in the 9:40 reversal time. So it was you know a seven eight R play depending on where you got filled where I called it um, and immediately. And then I saw that I was trying to call a second setup. I missed this call. I said buy it at 65 or 50. It came into 65 or 64. Here was the second buy here, and you could have bought it here. Stop under 60. So if you did that, you're still in it. Uh, target on the day in Facebook is $40. Uh, this is a buy right now. You can buy this right now over 39.15. Stop has to be under 39, uh, under 38.90 if it hits. This may come in a little bit more until it gets over 39.15. But I actually think this is it. I think this is actually going to hit over 15 here. So again, this isn't, you know, this isn't a lot. This is a long, this isn't a short, and I only do my shorts. But if you want a long play for this afternoon, Facebook is it. Target for Facebook today is $40. Dream target today in Facebook is 42. Look, this is going to hit over 15 now. So that's it. 12 o'clock reversal time. There it is. So the target on Facebook. The dream target is 42. If Facebook does not get to $42 today by 4 o'clock, by the close, it will tomorrow. So Facebook is an overnight hold today if it doesn't get to $42. What is $42? $42.05 is the IPO open price the first time that this thing opened in its life. And that is where it's going. And if it doesn't get there today, it is going there tomorrow. The overall target on Facebook, the short-term target this summer is $50. It's definitely going to see that. Um, 65 by the end of the year is 100% realistic, and in the next 12 months, Facebook will be over $100. There it is. So, you know, the interesting thing is that I did a trends class. I have a trends class, and I put Facebook in the class, and I said what Facebook had to do to go and be in an uptrend in the class in July. Anyone that did my trends class in July was there knew what I said and knew then the call that I made before it happened here on this. You you know, if you didn't do the class in July, you didn't know it. I'm going to go back and update the class now before Monday. And I'll always update the class for the charts I have in my class, which is Apple, Facebook, and a bunch of other ones too, that um, I will continually update as they as the charts move, okay? to follow the trends. It's going to be a, a very interesting. It's something I'm going to have to do now in that class. Constant, constantly updated, but it's fun. It's interesting. Anyone that did that class in July knows that I said what it had to do this to correct the chart, and it did it exactly. So, you know, it's one of these things that understanding trends is so important because if you knew how to do that and took the class in July when Facebook gapped up, you would have known and had the information to buy it, to buy it on, on the open, basically, to buy it immediately, to buy it, to buy Facebook. Now everybody and their brother's trying to buy Facebook. Okay, it's still a buy in here, but as a swing trade, as a core trade, the buy is the day of the gap. The day that it does the corrective gap. Looks very strange. People that are traders want to fade this. You can't do that. Why? 
It's a buy here. It's a brand new buy. It's going to break out to all time highs this year now. The chart has corrected itself. It's a new move. Facebook was in a downtrend. It was in a downtrend since the day that the stock opened, to be honest with you. The confirmation was the second day when it gapped down and never saw the high of that ever until past last week. So Facebook was in a downtrend for a long, long time until the day of the gap happened back here. And on 725, Facebook was no longer in a downtrend. It was in an uptrend and will stay in an uptrend now for a while. When something does a corrective gap, it it you know it's moving. It's moving. It's going to break over new highs here now. And the interesting thing is, people that are were desperate to get out of that IPO at their number are going to hit out of it at 42. So it's going to come in red a little bit, I think, around there. Some people will get out, break even, desperate, you know. Or some people bought it in here, which was a terrible buy, thinking it would get back to the IPO and they're going to take the profits out. But you don't take profits out when it comes up there. The stock is just making the new move. If you suffered through all this down in it, hang on, and may as well get paid in it now. And this was never good buy in here. This was not a good buy ever until here. This was a 50-50 chance. This was a gamble. This was a risky, risky thing to do. Anywhere in here you bought Facebook until the 25th. This is a clean play. Remember, trading is about skill. If you train with skill, your trains will be clean. You will be consistently profitable. You'll have a good risk to reward, and you won't lose that often. Anything else that you do is a 50-50 gamble. Buying Facebook in a downtrend doesn't make any sense at all. Zero. zippity doo -dah. Did you get paid on it if you bought it in downtrend? Yes. Was it a good trade? No. Could you have lost? Yes. Facebook just as well could have gapped down, and I was looking to see if it did that the day of the earnings when they came out here. If they had gapped down, I would have shorted them. Okay. Facebook very well could have gone to $15 before it gapped up where it did last week and corrected the chart. You can't predict what something's going to do taking a position before it does it. So how do you trade? What do you do? When you know what to look for, and when the stock does what it's supposed to do, you take the position. You don't take the position before it does what it's supposed to do. You know how to read the chart. The problem is people don't know how to read charts. They do two things. They either guess, 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 and hope and pray, and wish and think that it's going to go up, buy it in a downtrend, or short it in an uptrend. This is the other thing people do. They just go the opposite direction of whatever the trend is, thinking they're going to get paid by something filling itself or going against itself, that the likely direction people think is going against itself, which is insane because things tend to continue the trends unless they correct themselves, all right, which does not happen every day. And that's one thing people do, or they are late, late to the party. They will wait and wait and wait and wait and wait and be late. And that's why Facebook now is just going to continue rallying and rallying and rallying. Even though it looks extended, now it's not extended. And I saw this today this morning. I said, this is a good gap. This is a continuation gap on Facebook. Buy it. Buy it. I called it right at the low of the day. And it's going to go to $40 today at least. It could very well get to $42. So Facebook was a continuation gap today. A good, good gap. A gap that was a buy right into the area. Beautiful, beautiful buy. And will continue. So this is not extended and so people are late to the party now and they'll buy it late. So people either gamble and buy things too soon and lose and lose and lose and lose and lose until they make money and take 10 trades they lose in until the one works because doing stuff they shouldn't do against the trend or they will wait for the confirmation, wait for the confirmation, wait for the confirmation, be late suffer through pullbacks while they come in or, or not make that much or have big stops and then not good risk to reward. See, this is the other thing. You're late to the party. You got the confirmation, which you shouldn't have even done anything but the gap if you know how to trade gaps or read trends. But people that are late to the party get the confirmation. So it's better than being risky poo here and 50-50 in it buying against the trend, but then the risk to reward isn't there when you're late to the party. Do you see? The only way to trade right is to read gaps. You get risk to reward, you get momentum, you get a clean train. The confirmation for me is in the gap because I know how to rate it and I use a 26 point rating system that I use to rate it. And I also know how to read trends. And guess why am I good at reading trends? Because I know how to read gaps. And this is what I teach in the trends class and the gap class. And to be honest with you, I think you got to have it all. You got to have it all. You got to know it all. You don't want to be late to the party and not get the risk to reward. You want to make the most bang for your buck. You don't want to take crazy, insane plays by buying stuff in the opposite trend or shorting stuff in the opposite trend. That's not a good idea. You'll lose way more than you'll ever make money doing that. The only way to trade is the way that I'm trading myself and teaching people, and you got to learn how to do it. And it's not rocket science.
There is a skill level to it. There's a skill set to it. You do have to understand what to do. It's not easy peasy. There is skill involved, but it certainly can be done. I'm doing it myself. Great call I made today on Facebook. Great call I made today on Facebook. And Facebook is an overnight hold tonight to $42 tomorrow if it doesn't get there today. So continuation gap today, which will take it to the IPA open price. So if anyone is interested in more information about the classes I have for August, the classes for August are August 11th and August 12th and 13th is a trends class. 12th and 13th is a trends class. It's an eight-hour class. I'm splitting up into two afternoons on Monday and Tuesday next week, a week from today. And the gap class, which is the 17th and 18th, which is two weeks from now. So if anyone's interested in running a special for August, it's $29.99 for both classes. It's a savings of $500. And you can learn this all. And when the next time you see something like this, you, you do it. You buy Facebook on the open, on the gap, because you know how to read the gap and you know how to read trends. And you're look what you're up here. And not many people know how to do this. They, they just don't. This is a very specialized thing I'm doing. I'm so proud of myself that I figured this stuff out. I really, even that call I made today on Facebook, where did I get that? I just called it instinctively too. Maybe I need to start doing longs as well. Here, as soon as it came in. So this is resistance, but it's support today. So as soon as the stock opened, I knew it was a good gap today. As soon as it came in here and touched right on the number, I screamed by it in the room. I should have just done it. It was a great call. So have a wonderful day, everybody. If you're interested in more information about the trends class or gap class, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. Facebook is a buy today. Over 39.15 if it gets there. You have to figure out the stop. It should be somewhere in here. If it breaks this area, it's going to come all the way down to here and it's going to look squishy. This very well could do it though in a big jimongous tail and still set up and go higher. I think it's going to hold somewhere around in here in the 80s or low high 90s, low 90s or high 80s, I mean, and follow through. The buy must be over here though today. No one minute, two minute, five minute buys. Not even the 15 because the 15 triggered already here. It's got to be over 39.15. That's the clean price buy on this to get to $40 today or $42. Not a great time to be under any trades for $12.09, but 2 o'clock this afternoon, it very well could do it. All right, have a great day, everyone. Have a wonderful day. See you all tomorrow.